15th. America is News Nation. Cuomo, weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on America's fastest growing cable news network. News Nation, news for all America. For its election day in California, the state's crowded Senate race is one of the most high-profile races on the ballot and the most expensive Senate race in the state's history. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Glenn Walker. More than two dozen candidates are competing for a chance to fill the late Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat. KTLA 5 is your local election headquarters. We have live team coverage throughout the night. KTLA's Chris Wolf is live for the race for L.A. County District Attorney. But first, we're checking in with KTLA's Chip Yost in Long Beach with a look at the California Senate race. Hey, Chip. Yeah, hello there, guys. We're outside a venue where later tonight, Congresswoman Katie Porter will be holding a watch party to see the election results. She is one of four candidates who has consistently come in the top four of the polls for this seat for the U.S. Senate that everyone is running for. So let's talk about who these four people are. Basically, we have three Democrats and a Republican that are at the top four of the polls, the three Democrats being Congressman Adam Schiff, Congresswoman Katie Porter, and Congresswoman Barbara Lee. They are running against Republicans. Steve Garvey. Only two of those four, if the polls are right, will remain in the race after today's election results are sorted out. So today, all of the candidates were on social media trying to distinguish themselves from the other candidates, especially the Democrats, because the thinking is that Garvey will get the Republicans that are coming out and they are not going to be swayed by any of the Democrats. So he's going to have a solid uh, kind of chance to be one of those top two. So it looks like the three Democrats will be really fighting it out. Schiff has been leading in many of the polls. So then you have Katie Porter and Barbara Lee trying to fight to see if they can overtake him for maybe that spot or even overtake Garvey because the polls have been fairly close. The way they've been trying to distinguish themselves is for Barbara Lee, in her case, she's trying to show her progressive bona fides. For one, she put out a retweet, showed some information about how she was the only Congress member just days after 9-11 to vote against the war in Afghanistan. Katie Porter, meanwhile, tweeted out some video of herself, her famous whiteboard moments. Remember her famous whiteboard moments where she confronts corporate leaders or members of government uh, with her whiteboard in congressional hearings trying to say she's the only one who will take on corporate power uh, in Congress. Adam Schiff, meanwhile, says he is the one who will get things done. He's trying to distinguish himself by running on his record, showing things he's done, and also pointing out that he was the lead prosecutor in the first imp impeachment against former President Donald Trump. Meanwhile, Republican Steve Garvey, well, he's just trying to say, look, you elect me, I will work with the other side. I will be bipartisan. I will reach across the aisle to try to help get things done. So all four of these candidates trying to distinguish themselves, trying to get just their last minute pitch to voters to see if they can kind of cross that finish line as among the top two finishers. Because remember, the top two finishers will move on to the November election to fill that seat uh, that former Senator Dianne Feinstein uh, once held. So a lot going on here. We're going to be down here at the uh, the uh, watch party for Congresswoman Katie Porter, which she'll be having later tonight. We have other reporters at some of the other watch parties uh, looking out to see how things play out there. For now, reporting live here in Long Beach, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, thank you, Chip. From California to Maine, millions of Americans in 16 states and one territory headed to the polls today. The results will set the stage for November's elections at the local, state, and national level. We will be taking a close look at the pivotal races tonight. Polls in Vermont and Virginia closed just minutes ago. We will have some of the earliest numbers. That's coming up at 4.30. L.A. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon is trying to hold on to his District 14 seat. Earlier today, the incumbent councilman dropped off his ballot at a polling center in El Sereno. DeLeon has been trying to rehabilitate his image after he was heard in a leaked audio recording mocking a colleague and the colleague's child during a closed-door meeting. That was in 2021. He's being challenged by state assembly member and former friend Miguel Santiago, as well as assembly member Wendy Carrillo. Carrillo has been on her own image rehab mission after a DUI arrest last November. Meanwhile, incumbent L.A. County Supervisor Janice Hahn is fighting to keep her fourth district seat for one final time. To do that, she has to fend off former Sheriff Alex Villanueva, who cast his vote in La Habra Heights this morning. 
Villanueva is seeking a return to public office after losing...